Brother, come home. Brother, come home. You've been away far too long. You went off to fight, and now I cry every night. Brother, oh brother, come home. Hi, Ken, and welcome. Thanks for having me. All right. Um, tell us a little bit about how you found uh, Vet Trip and how long you've been coming. Um, well, I've known um, Bob and Dottie for years, and they've counseled me and helped me come along. And then I've, so I've really been with uh, Vet Trip from the beginning. And why did you need to come to Vet Trip? What was going on with you? Um, I have pretty severe PTSD, and I also jumped from planes in fright, I mean flight, and messed up my knees and back. Uh -huh. So ever since I left the service, um, my knees and back have given me problems. Okay, and how long were you in the service? Which 22 years. 22 years, what, in which branch of the military? Army. Army, okay. So you've been in a lot of pain with your back yes. and your knees, okay? And what happens for you when you when you come for sessions with that trip? It's magical. <laughs> That's the only way I can say it. It's yeah. magical. Magical. Um, I come in always in at least some pain, and whenever I leave, it's like I always leave in almost no pain. Down to zero, huh? Yes. And I've been really bad because um, I've come in the walker. I've had it so bad. And very seldom have I been able to walk without a cane. And now, as you see, you know, I can stand up tall and walk again. I see that. I and, see. Uh, I believe it's largely credited to the veteran. And how long did that take from the time you started coming to you could walk without your walker, without your cane? Did that take months? It, it took months. Months. Um, actually, I had, after about the first year, I had somewhat of a re relapse because I had a, uh, a pinched nerve at the, my spine on the right side. And at that point, it was so painful that just to stand, the pain would burn, be like a burning sensation going down. From, it starts here and then goes down the leg. And all, I couldn't stand more than just a matter of a few moments. Wow. And that went on for maybe about three months. And it was during that time that I was on the walker. And I was using the cane even before the walker, but then I was able to go from the walker to a cane again. And um, I got off the cane now maybe four months. Mm -hmm. And do you come every two weeks? Yes. Okay. Every time they open the door. <laughs> you are here first and foremost. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And uh, how long will your... Uh, pain be gone between sessions if you only come every two weeks? Well, it used to be it was just a uh, lessening every okay. time. Okay. And now, for the last two months, I guess, two months, um, I can go three, four days with no or minimal pain. And then it gradually will start coming back. And thankfully they have a Monday session <laughs> coming up. Yep. So after the weekend, um, I, get, I get cured again. You get cured again, yeah. Well tell me, you mentioned that you had PTSD. Yes. And has this program helped you with any of those kinds of symptoms besides greatly. pain? Greatly. greatly. So can you explain what that, how that's happened? Or what's happened, not why, but... <laughs> um, The 
the change, I think part of it is some of the, um, the aromatherapy, mm -hmm. um, the relaxation techniques. Um, I do the tapping. And the first thing is I stop being as paranoid. Well, that's important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I started being able to sleep a little better. And after every session, especially now for about the last three to four months, I sleep a whole lot better. Wonderful. And when you can sleep, then you can be more stress-free. Yes. All right. And I can wake up as opposed to have been up. Mm. And that's made a major difference. Mm -hmm. Major difference. Talk to us about the tapping. You said you use it and you like it. Um, how does it help you? What do you do? Um, especially when the PTSD starts kicking in, I feel it starting to come on. Um, I can do the tapping, my hands. And, and what do you say to yourself when you're tapping? That I'm okay. Okay. I'm okay I'm, and you tap. Huh? I'm okay. Uh, everything is going to be okay. I'm blessed. Okay. Um, show, us, show us exactly how you do that. Just do the words and the tapping and just show us what you do. Okay. I'm okay. I don't have to worry. I don't have to fear. I deserve to be here. I deserve to enjoy life. I enjoy the people around me. No one here is here to hurt me. I don't have to hurt anybody. It's good to be alive. Mm. I'm blessed to be alive. Everything is okay. I'm okay. I will be okay. I'll be better tomorrow than I am today. Everything is good. God is good. Things that God created is good. Everything is going to be okay. That is beautiful watching you. Just beautiful. I'm sensing some emotion coming up as you do that. Yeah. yeah, what's happening with your feelings? It's sort of like it helps wash it away. Mm. But you can't really wash it away without seeing it. So you're seeing some of the memories yeah. as you're tapping and releasing. And then, after seeing it, I identify it, and then let release, let flow off like water. Nice. Nice. So it's a letting go process yes. for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, for me. For you. Do you use it a lot in your daily life? Often enough. Often enough. Okay. Especially controlling my temper. <laughs> this kind of thing. In your road rage or whatever, yes. right? Yeah. And most time I don't have a lot of road rage now. Uh -huh. That's one of the things. Um, I just say, hey, I'm okay. <laughs> They're okay. <laughs> I'll even deliberately give more room. I'll make an effort when I see somebody trying to come out. I want to help them get back in the traffic, help them get where they're going. So you stop competing to, right. to, to win on the road, right? Yes. Yeah. And that's difficult for me because I also have a tendency to run late. Ah. But I figure others run late. Mm -hmm. What's been the, the best thing that's happened to you here? The best thing? Mm -hmm. It's hard to say. It's because it's peace of mind. It's the physical improvements. It's the... Getting in touch with Earth, getting in touch with my
myself. I don't know how to pick one okay. better than all, any of the others. Yeah. Would you say you've kind of come back to yourself through this program? I think I've gotten better than myself. Better than your old self? Huh? Yes. Yeah. You know, we talk in the business, we talk with PTSD, we talk about soul loss. And it uh, feels to me like you've come back in touch with your soul. I've, I've gotten my soul back. You've gotten your soul back, yeah. I look at the soul like um, a white sheet. And when we start out, we have a beautiful, clean, pressed white sheet. Mm -hmm. And the first time you go through something really bad, especially if you take a life, it's like a drop of indelible ink hitting that sheet. Right. And it hits, and then it just starts to spread. Mm -hmm. And once you have a couple of them on there, you don't mind another couple, because you already got, <laughs> I mean. You got stains you know, on you're your white sheet. Out. Yeah. And that, I, I carry it around. And now, the, the, the ink isn't gone, but it's bled enough, it's been released enough that it's not near as bad as it. I, I looked at it before. Wonderful. I am so proud of you. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, because it ta to me it takes um, a cooperation of the people that are coming. It's not something that when you come here they just, quote, do something to you. No. It's like you're very involved in the process, and you take it and run with it. Or yeah. hobble. <laughs> <laughs> you take it and hobble with it. <laughs> no, I, I, I feel like I do. I try to. Yes, you do. Run with it. Run with it. Yeah. And bless your soul. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. You're a beautiful man. Yeah. It touched my heart. I really believe that everybody is put on this planet for a purpose. And I'm now at a stage in life that I want to be as much of a positive influence as I can be. Mm -hmm. Do you ever see yourself uh, being one of the practitioners in this program? I have. You have, yes. <laughs> I have seen myself possibly. Yes. Uh huh. You know, these are all skills that you can learn. You're not born with them. Yes. Yeah, you know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think what we're born with is the purity of heart to want to learn the skills. Yes. And the desire to help others. Right. And I have definitely looked at. Uh, possibility of that design. Mm -hmm. I see you doing that. Mm -hmm. Brother, come home. Brother, come home. You've been away far too long. You went off to fight and now I cry every night Brother, oh brother, come home You are my light Brother, you are my light You were twelve years old When I began my life taught me to throw and when your friends said let's go you told them you'd be with them in a while they told me you'd go to protect us at home but you've always been a hero to me Now it's been two long years And how I wish you were here 
brother, come home, brother, come home, brother, come home, you've been away far too long, you went off to fight, and now I cry every night Brother, oh brother, come home Hey, mama dear, with all, all those tears, she said, come here and sit by my side. Brother's on his way home, and it won't be long. He'll be in that heavenly place.